Hi girls, I'm uh, getting really bored laying in bed, so I thought I would show you guys my birthday stuff, although it's kind of been spread out across the room, so I gathered it as best as I could. So that's my new toy, my Vagabond. Um, I haven't used it yet. <laughs> I took it out of the box, um, and that was about all I did. So, <laughs> um, hopefully I'll be able to sit at my desk soon. So, um, I got, I placed an order, as soon as I brought home my Vagabond, placed an order with, um, Paper Tray Ink, because they have this new set that I really liked, um, it's called Desktop, in Desktop File Inspiration, and it's to make Rolos, to do, like, um, keep track of, like, your product inspirations and things like that. So I got the two um, Rolodex dies. This one has a center tab. And this one has a left tab. The one that has a right tab was still out of stock. I guess they're having like a production problem, but you can just cut this and flip it over. So I don't think I need the third one. Um, I got the postage stamp die for the set that I got like a month and a half ago. So now I can cut my own little postage stamps. And then, this is the stamp set, um, here, you can see it better on the labels. It has, like, um, grid, um, this is color combos, and it has these little rectangles, and then it has this solid rectangle box, so you can stamp, like, your ink colors in there, and keep track of, like, color combos you like. Um, design notes, journal prompts, um, there's little arrows and stuff. And then the other sheet of stamps is, there's like notebook paper, there's like a technique box, you can, um, you know, write out steps to a technique. I don't know, I thought it would be really fun maybe to make like a Rolo file for like my ink swatches and stuff. So there's that stamp set and the dies that go with it. This is going to be a really scatterbrained video, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um... We, let's see, I'm really, okay, so this is the order I placed on Blitzy, I think it was the day before my birthday. This um, pink paisley set came up on Blitzy, and I had to fight with the website for like a couple hours, because I kept putting stuff in my cart, and it kept disappearing, but I finally got the whole collection, because I had um, Blitzy credits to use up, so... This is the London Market Collection from Pink Paisley. And I just really like it. This is the collage sheets. It's um, some different 5x7 and 6x8 papers for collage. Um, this is a set of their numbers. They're like thick cardstock, but they're kind of glossy. And there's, gosh, there's like 4 to 8 of each number in there. This is the Claire Stamps pack. Like the fan, crown, and birdcage. There's some stamps. I just really like that one. Um, this is the back for the numbers. I got the um, the six by six paper pad. Some really cute papers in there. I can't flip through it because I only have one hand. Sorry. And the um, chipboard buttons. These are, they're printed and then they also have um, a resist pattern on them. Probably can't see it on the camera. No, you can't. Anyway, they each have like two patterns on them, so that's pretty cool. And then I got some of the 12x12 12 12 papers. I got two each of five different patterns that they had available. So, that's the Pink Paisley London Market Collection. I don't know what to do with it now. Move it over there. And then we made, we went to Joanne's twice and Michael's once. Um, went within a few days, so I ended up with the stuff. This I found on the ground on the way to the bus stop. It's blank, and it wasn't dirty. It's just really wrinkled up, and so I grabbed it. 
It's just like a tag. I don't know. It's pretty distressed, so I grabbed it to keep. Um, I found these at Michael's. They're from TPC Studio. It's a bunch of cardstock stickers, but they're like um, really like vintage, shabby inspired patterns and stuff, and they're pretty big size. I got this DCWV glitzy glitter stack in the neutrals because this is glitter paper, which I've never cared for before because I tried to cut glitter paper once on my Cricut and I ruined a brand new blade. This stuff is really smooth. It's not um, chunky like most glitter paper and now that I have a Sizzix, I could cut some. So. I had to get that, and then I also got this, the adhesive fabric paper, because it's like, almost like printed canvas, and then it's sticky back, so you can cut that too, thought that was really fun. I think I also got a couple packs of grunge paper, um, when we were at Joanne's, and then I got, um, last week, I think, um, from Janet. She sent me a birthday present full, a box full of the October Afternoon 9 to 5 collection, because she's super sweet and super generous. And it was a pretty awesome birthday present, and she also sent it when I was feeling uber crappy, so it was really nice. The stickers, um, these are the rubber stamps. Um, this is a bunch of the stuff I opened and I made her a card. Um, the miscellany pack and some of the journal things and the flags, things like that. I put them in a baggie. Um, this is the 8x8 paper pack. I just love this stuff. It's so, like, office themed. And then um, I also got a couple of pieces from this collection from Carly Joe for a swap we did. And, uh, so I have the tidbits and the journal cards um, and the doodads in duplicate, which is pretty cool because then I can really use them all up. And this is the packaging for the little flags and then the epoxy brad is really cool. I love this collection. The colors are really totally me. And the, you know, the 50s secretary is totally fun. So that's a pretty cool birthday present. And then, when we went to the store to get my, hey look, there's my leg, uh, <laughs> Vagabond, I picked out a couple of dyes while we were there, and then I went on the Joanne website. So, um, this is what I ended up with. I got the hanging sign, let's see if I can, maybe I'll stick them in these box, this box here. I got the hanging sign, the weathered clock, the, um, the ATC and photo corners, uh, movers and shapers one. Um, I got a movers and shapers base tray. I actually ordered two of these, but I've swapped one of them out already. Or I'm going to. Um, I got the movers and shapers tag and book plates. Oh my gosh. The uh, movers and shapers big ornamental uh, plate. Tiny tabs and tags. Let's see here. Um, the on the edge file tabs. Um, I got the movers and shapers keyholes. And the, that was my finger, big ugly pink finger, okay. Um, the mini labels, movers and shapers. So I could actually make 
the keyholes like you see them on the package. Um, I grabbed the mini hearts, movers and shapers. Um, the crown and the Florida Lee. And then I got into, let's see, the other base tray. Um, oh wait, this one too. I got the key and the lock. Everything's falling all over the place. Okay, um, on Joanne.com I went in their clearance section and I found a bunch of really cool little sizzlets. I got this little swallow. Thought it was cute. And this bumblebee. Um, and I got some of the strips. I got the uh, film strip die. If I can put these in here, there I go. Um, this one is just a Sizzix one, not a Tim Holtz one, but it's birds and branches. And look at the cute little tiny birds. Aren't they adorable? I like it better than Tim's bird. I know I'm probably not supposed to say that, but I do. I like it better. And I got the Upon a Time alphabet. Josh picked this one. I couldn't choose which alphabet one I wanted, so he said to get this one, so I did. Even though it has no capitals. And I got the ticket die, because that was when I was like, oh, well, if I'm getting a vagabond, I definitely want the ticket strip die. So. Now I have that, and I got the um, stamp set to go with it. Mix the tickets. Um, and also, I have so much crap in this box. Okay, I got the postal and distressed frame texture fades, and the wood grain and brick wall texture fades and then I found these on clearance at Joann's for $4.99 with the 15% off coupon last Saturday so I don't like they gave me the 15% off but they should have um, this is the damask and regal flourish texture fades pretty cool patterns um, I got the extended spacer platform and the, um, oh my gosh, I can't even think anymore. The Solo Thin Die Adapter, so I can use those PTI dies. And I got, I have the cutting pads and the Solo cutting pad and shim. Um, I got a pack of 6x6 six six white chipboard so I can cut things. And I got, um... I have the 13 inch cutting pads that I grabbed and um, then Sue sent me the on the edge cutting plates so I could use that really cool file folder tab one and she sent me the fanciful flight die for my birthday so I have the butterflies too and I think that's all I got <laughs> I'm probably forgetting some stuff. Like I said, I know I bought a couple packs of, like, grunge paper. Um, but I was really focused on the Vagabond stuff, so I didn't really get much else except for those couple pads of cool paper that I can cut. So, that's what I got for my birthday. It's so much stuff, I'm kind of, like, delusional about it. Plus, you know, I'm really drugged up right now. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching, and I'm sorry this is so long. Bye, girls.